Namaste. Welcome back. I am Dr. Uma Bipujar, Assistant Professor of Commerce, Government First Grade College and PG Center, Dharwad. So friends, in my last video, we discussed about how to create and generate uh, the Google Forms and send it to the participants via email. Today, I'm going to discuss about how to generate our certificate and attach it to the Google Forms and send it to the participants. So whenever we conduct any uh, programs or quizzes or tests, uh, the students or the participants will expect uh, the certificate from us and it is our duty uh, to issue the certificate to the participants. So now the issue is that how to uh, distribute the certificate to those many people who are scattered around the world. So this is possible by installing an add-on tool called as Certifyum. This Certifyum helps us to generate our own certificate and helps in attaching this certificate to the Google form and automatically helps in distributing the certificates to n number of participants who are spread or scattered around the world. But one thing is that the Certifyum has its own limitations. So it can send only 100 certificates per day uh, and the next 100 will be sent in the next day. So it has its limitations that it can send only 100 certificates per day. So let it uh, uh, keep it in mind. So now let's uh, see how to generate our certificate and how to attach it. So I'll be telling you uh, step by step. Let me share my screen here and um, please note down some important point so that uh, you can also uh, create your own uh, certificate and attach it to the form and send it to the participants. Now first go to Google form and here we ha I have created so many uh, forms here. So these are, I have told you in the last video, these are uh, which are already there in the uh, gallery uh, and these are the forms which I have created. So let me open one of it. So this is a quiz uh, form uh, for which I'm going to attach the certificate. So uh, before attaching the certificate, let me uh, make my form to look more beautiful or we can decorate it uh, to look more beautiful. So to add some uh, decorative things to this form, we can go to this uh, theme option. Then we can choose this, choose image. Then uh, there appear some themes here. You can select uh, out of this. We have different themes here, different colors, colorful themes you can select. Or if you want to upload some different images, you can upload here from the uh, web browser. And also if you have any photos of yours or your college photos in your PC, you can also select those and upload here. But right now I'm going to select among uh, these uh, themes. So let us select this one and insert it. So once you insert it, this image will take place of the header. So it becomes the header of your uh, form. So it looks like this. Okay, and next there is theme color. Theme color we can see here. We can change. If we press on pink, it becomes pink. If you want blue or if you want to match with this, you can go for purple. So it is as per your wish. You can do it or if you don't want, you can leave it. And the background, this is the background color here. You can also choose uh, this background. We have four options here, very light colors. Uh, you can, uh, if you want it white, you can leave it white or select it white. And we have four font styles here. So if you select on these font styles, basic, decorative, formal, and playful options are present here. So you can go for playful. You can see the font has been changed. So in this theme option, we have four options wherein we can change the structure of our fonts. So when this is finalized, go and press on refresh button. So whatever modification or whatever changes we have made will be updated here. 
So now the very important part is that we have to install the add-on button called or add-on option called Certify M. So which is very important to attach the certificate to this quiz form. So for this, this is the add-on button which I have already installed it. But right now you have to install it. I show how to install it. Once you install it, uh, uh, you, need, you need not have to install it again and again. It will be permanent on your screen until and unless you uninstall it. So let me see. We have I have installed these three add-on buttons, but very important one is certify. Let me show you how to install it. So to install certify, we have to go to this more button. Then search there. There is an add-ons button over here. Click on it. So this add-ons takes us to the G Suite marketplace wherein we have to select and search our certifium option add-on button. So this is the G Suite marketplace. Go for search app here. You can see there is a search option. Go and click here and just type certifium. So here it appears. Click on it. Uh, this is the add-on button which we want to install. So as I have already installed it, it shows as it's installed. So click on this and then it asks again whether to install it or uninstall it. For you, it appears as install. Click on that install button and then come out of this window, come out of this G Suite marketplace. So close it. And now if you check it, this will be on your screen. So we'll refresh it so that there is some network problem. It doesn't uh, take the uh, uh, things uh, and it, it will not be updated so easily. We have to refresh it again and again so that any changes made can be updated here. So this is it. So we have installed, um, you can check here. So there is some network problem. We'll wait for a minute. Uh, let us see. Okay, it has appeared here. Again, once again, I'm going to give as refresh. Okay. The changes are being updated. Now, let us check now. So, I'll tell you how to attach the certificate through this certifier. So, click on this add-on. Go to certifier. And then, click on this show certifier control. So, when you click on this, a window will pop up on this screen. So this is the certify button. So we have some operations to be done here. Okay, you can see here, certification is off. So when it is off, you have to turn on. The very first thing is that you have to turn on certification. So immediately, turning on the certification, the message will come to your mail regarding the uh, certification is on. So next again, you have to select the passing percentage. We have zero to 100%. If you want to distribute the certificates to all the participants, keep it as 0%, but I'm going to keep it as 40% as cutoff rate. And now you can see here there are different Template. template option is there when we open this. We have 10 types of templates here. These are the ready certificate uh, forms or templates which are available in this Google form. So let us see this. Click on preview all. So when we see we have different uh, structures or different styles of uh, certificates which are uh, uh, ready available on this. Google form, you can also select one of these. Instead of creating uh, our own certificate, we can make use of this certificate also. But these are very simple to look at, but very attractive also. See here, brown frame, black frame, and these are the names of this certificate. So these are ready templates which are available freely available on the Google Forms. These are horizontal lines, golden, and uh, there we have red ribbon, purple banner. So this. So let us select this one. It's looking very good. I liked it. So the name of this is red ribbon. 
So just remember, we'll select this red ribbon, close this certificate templates. So now we are going to select that red ribbon. So select on this red ribbon. So certification is on. We have given the cutoff rate as 40% and we have selected the red ribbon certificate which is there on the Google form. Next, you have to click on this advanced button. So it takes us to uh, this window and you have to click here allow CC via other identifiers field. So you have to don't forget to click this. You have to click this and then save changes. Click on save changes. Once you have done all these four options, certify on, then passing template and then advance button. These are the four important operations wherein you have to do in this certify. So once it is done, close it. Now we are going to fill this form and send it to the mail and receive the certificate. Let's, let's check out. We will just preview whether the form is uh, correct or not. So this is the basic information whatever I have asked. So let us send it now. So this is the form. I am going to send it to my mail. So this is Uma uh, B. Pujar at uh, gmail.com okay include form in email and then send so once we have sent it we will uh, receive we will check it so this is certification is turned on I said you uh, whenever you operate that certifier it gives message whenever you turn it on it gives the message to your mail now I have received the Google form. So let's open it and fill it. So uh, let us be uh, fast. I have to cover many more things. So name of the student is Umami Pujar. Uh, semester is um, sector semester. And name of the college I'll be keeping as A B C College College Dharwar. Okay. Next. We are going to fill the quiz now. What are the following economic objectives? It is an innovative and uh, rate of education says uh, on total income is actually the 4%, but I'm going to give purposely wrong answer. Let us see what will be the percentage. Uh, cost of capital is the minimum required rate of return and commerce is described as business economics. Grapevine is an informal communication and next we submit it once we submit so we have to now receive the certificate so when we go and check the mail refresh it we have to wait for a while because we have to receive the certificate if there is any network problem it takes time so by the time uh, we receive the uh, certificate uh, we'll move on to the next option so uh, next if it takes time so we are unable to receive it now uh, okay so let it be i'll be joining again uh, this telling let's check after some time now the next part is that uh, how to um, generate our own certificate so so this is the certificate which I have created on uh, MS Word. So if you want to create your own certificate, this is second option. First option I used was I used a ready-made certificate which is already available on Google Form. So the second one is that the certificate which I have created using MS Word. So this is MS Word. I think you are familiar with this MS Word because you have been working since from long days. So MS Word document it is. In this document, you have to enter all the option here and you can make designs and borders inside the borders as per your requirement. And also you can make any form of structure as per your requirement here. So I have taken as scorecard because it is a quiz competition. So I have taken as a 
scorecard. So now this Word document should be converted into image. That is, it, the Word document should be converted into JPG or PNG form. JPG and PNG or a image form. So for that you can, you have two options. One thing you have to go to Google and uh, type it there uh, online free word to JPG converter or uh, free online word to PNG converter. If you just type it, it gives the instruction, you can easily convert this word into image or else you can go to search option here, just uh, search for snipping tool. So this is snipping tool which cuts and converts the document into image now on this you click on this new button go for rectangular snip so snipping means it cuts so keep on this and press your left mouse button and drag it and correct cut it properly just drag and select and leave it so now this is converted into form now see the word document is being converted into image so this is image now you have to copy this copy and minimize or close this and go to google then there you have to go to google slides so there is another option google slides so you have to go to Google. So this is similar uh, as uh, Google Forms. Uh, the same procedure is followed here. Again, it asks for uh, personal or business. You can go for uh, Google Slides. Then this is the home page of your. Go. It is similar to uh, the structure looks like Google Form itself. Then go for this blank or start a new presentation. So when you go to this slide whatever you have copied here so this is being copied here this snipping tool uh, image is copied and showed you copy you can use keyboard option also control c and you can come here and give the option control v also or you can use this right button and then paste it so once you paste it this you have to adjust the image to the slide. So don't cross the slide. It should be within the slide. For this, now we are going to add some fields. Those fields are called as merged tags, uh, which enables the uh, certifying to attach this file. So uh, I'll show you how those merged tags looks like. So these are the merged tags. Uh, so here you can see list of uh, merged tags supported by certifying. So if you want to add the name of the student or name of the teacher, whatever uh, is been given immediately after collecting email, immediately after collecting email, there should be the name of the student or name of the teacher. So it should be written in this form. So to flower bracket and full name. And if you want to add the title in the certificate you have to so type like this and to add next option after asking the name we are going to add designation or class or semester of the student you have to go for this other identifier and for name of the college we have to go for this other identifier too and for displaying the percentage whatever students have scored you have to type as this like this person and for certificate id you have to type this so keep in mind just this should be memorized so whenever you want to generate your own certificate we have to use this merged tags so let me tell you how to use this so let us go to google slide so how to insert the merged tags go to this text box then place it in the place of student's name and just drag it because student's name will be big here drag it then to flower bracket as you have seen in merge tags you have to write as it is full name full name and close the flower bracket so again i want to add class or semester so take a text box then drag it 
write it as other identifier fire then close the bracket again i want to add name of the college go to text box again place it here and drag it you have to hold your left uh, mouse button and drag it again add to flower bracket and write it as other identifiers other identifier two so close the flower bracket you have to check the spelling there should not be any spelling mistakes if there is any spelling mistakes made here the form doesn't accept it so once it is done i want to add percentage score so again i'm going to place it and drag it so for that we have to add the field p e r c e n t only percent is given in that merged or not percentage you have there i have seen it it is only percent now i'm going to add certificate id so any of the corner you can choose so now certificate id so close it so one two three four five five fields are being added to this now we'll go to our google forms so this is the uh, google form i'm going to select let us select another one this was a ready template used um, for earlier certificate so let us take some other uh, form here so we will go for this customized certificate one so i have added this beautiful certificate um, to this form so this is again the quiz form will refresh it then we'll go to add to merge the certificate whichever we have made there so go to certify m so we have to refresh it once again we'll go for refresh so we'll see how does this uh, review looks like so this we ha I have asked some see here you can see email address name of the student semester right name of the form so let's let's insert the certificate we go to certify m and show certify m controls okay so the same procedure is followed here only thing we have to add our certificate to it so turn on the certificate is on again you will be receiving a message regarding the uh, turning on the certificate so after uh, turning on this you can give this cut off rate as 40% uh, as per your wish i have taken as 40% and now we are going to choose and select use a custom template so last in the uh, last session or uh, uh, before i told you i have selected this red ribbon now i'm going to select this use a custom template so that whatever we have done that can be inserted here so select a new file it takes us to the slide so this is presentation this i forgot to name the uh, slide here so you can see here uh, this is the uh, thing which has been generated then click on it then select button save changes now you can see here it changes here from black frame to untitled presentation now go to advanced button and as i have told you earlier you have to click on this allow cc via other identifier fields change save changes and this is done now okay let us close it and let us send this form to my mail once again and let us see whether we will receive the certificate or not uma b pujar at gmail dot com okay um, let's try it again okay we'll send it let's see 
um, check up my mail now. Oh, this certificate is here now. The one which I created uh, just okay. This you can check here. So congrats, Umar B. Puja. You passed your certificate is attached to this email. You can download it. So this is the uh, template which I have used. This was the ready template which was already available. So you remember I made one mistake purposely. I made mistake, so it has displayed here as 80%. So it looks very beautiful. You can use it uh, very easily without uh, generating your own certificate. So now this is one certificate which I told you now. Another I have received the Google form. Let us fill it fast and receive another certificate. So uh, email ID Umabi Pujar, uh, next name of the student Umabi Pujar, or else I'm, I will change the name here. I will keep it as Lavanya. Okay, and uh, we'll get a fifth semester and uh, name of the college. Mm. Okay, GFGC and Dhamar D A H E A R and W A D. Okay, next. So this time I'm going to fill all the answer correctly. So this is innovation and next is four percent. I did last time I did purposely. I had given wrong option here. This time I'm giving correct answer. This is minimum. And uh, next, I'm going to economic business, and this is an informal communication. And lastly, this I'm going to submit. So immediately after submitting it, I have to uh, receive a certificate. Let's check out. So if there is any uh, problem, it may take some time. It's no problem. I may receive it after some time. So uh, until then, I'll go for. Another option. And there's one more thing, very important thing to tell you. So let, let it be. Uh, we'll check it afterwards. Now, uh, so I received the certificate. Very good. So we'll open it. Yes, this is the certificate which I have generated. See, name of the student is Lavanya. Uh, class is fifth semester, name of the college of this Dharat, whatever I have typed or written on the form will be displayed on the certificate. If you do any mistakes while entering the uh, form, uh, this will be taken as it is, whatever you type on the form. So be careful while uh, entering or uh, typing on the Google form. So these are two types of certificates uh, which I show you. Now, one more important thing is that I'll be showing you one more uh, thing. Uh, so I'll take this um, certificate. So this is only the participation certificate. This need not need uh, any uh, uh, this passing percentage or any quiz. This is only uh, we take the feedback from the participants and for every so, uh, candidate, we are going to uh, give the certificate. For example, if any uh, number of people attend the webinar or any conference, for those people, we have to issue the um, certificate to each and every person. So, how to issue it? I have uh, generated it and also I have converted it into slip uh, uh, this thing also uh, into image. So, let us uh, see how this can be done without any um, allotting any marks how can we send the certificate to each and every participants only by filling the feedback form so let us copy this copy this and then paste it paste it where to paste you have to go to google slides here so go to a new you have to click on this file image here so it takes to the home page and if you click on this it opens a new slide then go here and then paste it we have copied there we have to paste it Control c and Control v or we can use this right button and then paste it so this is a different certificate which i have created see here you can see 
uh, this is to certify that Professor Umadi Tujar and I have, have to put the designation here, assistant professor or associate professor or principal or whatever it is from the college name. So I'm going to add this fields here. So select this and just write it as flower bracket, full name and close the bracket. Next, let it make it short. Again, I want to add uh, the designation here. So here, um, take again flower bracket, other identity fire, five ER, close the flower bracket. Again, I want to add the name of the college here. So drag it because it requires a lot of space. So other identifier to close the brackets. So if you want to add a certificate ID, you can add it in any of these corners. So I have added these three fields. Now this is done. We'll go to Google Forms. Then uh, we'll take for a new, we'll go for uh, uh, another form here. I have already created it. Let us check out which is that form. So uh, for participation certificate. So I have done this. We'll open it. So this is regarding those whoever fills the feedback form, they will get the certificate. So here you can see only I have given some basic information and one question it doesn't have uh, allotted any marks as you can see here i click him uh, show you so there is no mark allotted here so it shows all zero points zero points so see here okay and for this you have to go to settings and then don't click on this Q, uh, quiz. Uh, you have to off it, then go to general, then save it. Okay, once you have done this, if you go for quiz, you have to allot marks. So go to general so that if you see once again, so there will not appear any marks here. So you have to convert it to we have an option here, change settings. If you go there, it takes you to the settings page. So general or quiz, if you want to allot marks for the quizzes, you have to select this. If it is only a feedback form, you have to go for general and save it. So I have already saved it as general. So all you have to do is, it is very important, just have a look, go to, add-ons, go to certify them. So it's still, you have to refresh it. It has not uh, updated. If we refresh it, so uh, by the time let's have a look how does our form looks like. Go to preview and just check out how. So this is only one form uh, wherein we have to submit close the preview button and now we'll check it. So certify them and then show certify records. So for this, where we have not allotted any marks, then be careful while operating this certify certificate. So before turning on, you have to select this passing certificate. So I'm repeating it. When you are issuing the certificate without allotting any marks, so you have to, before going to turning on the certification, you have to select this passing percentage as zero or else it will not accept. So then after giving it as zero percent, then go to turn on. So when you turn on, you will again receive the message regarding the certification is turned on so certification is on now we're going to select our customized template and then it takes us to the slide so we have to select the recent uh, slide whichever we have done the recent slide will be in this part of the slide we have to open it 
So if you have not forgot to give the name, the recent file will be here. Just select it and then select, then go for this save changes. Again, you can see here untitled presentation is being installed here. Now go to this advanced button and don't forget to click on this allow CC other identifier. So save changes. Now this is done. So close it and let us send this file to my mail and let us check how the certificate looks like. So to be pujar at gmail.com. Okay. Include in email. Okay, send. It's sent now. Let me check my mail. So it's here only. Uh, the certificate issue is not turned on. So I told you whenever you on the certifier, it gives the message. Now national webinar on higher education form is being received and just fill within a second because there's nothing to fill in. So very basic things, umabipujara.gmail.com. And this time I'm going to write the name as something Aditya. Aditya. And designation, uh, oh, let us write as Dr. Aditya because uh, the participants are teachers. You can write as Dr. Aditya and uh, can go for associate professor. And then um, name of the college, you can write as uh, A, B, C. XYZ College Radhanwar. Okay, now uh, National Center on Health, you can read it six or seven, uh, however um, you want. And next, if there is any suggestion, you can give or you can just type it as no. Now, once you submit it, I have to receive the certificate now. If everything is well and good, I'll be receiving the certificate. Uh, let's hope there is no any uh, network issues now. So let's wait. So this is how we generate our own certificate and issue. So we have received here. So let us check it out. So this is how it looks. So without allotting any marks and if you want to allow uh, a certificate to each and every participants only you can take the feedback from them and as i said you have to uh, do, do some operations in certify them you have to give zero percentage first and then go and on turn on the certify so this is how your certificate looks so friends after sending uh, these quizzes or feedbacks to the participants, now if you want to view uh, the details of the participants who have responded to your forms, then we have to go to the button called as responses. So let me show it. Let me open this form. So I had created a quiz for teachers on higher education. So when you see this form, you can view here on the home page of this page of this form, there are two options, questions and responses. If you see here, there are 324 responses who have attended this quiz. So when you click on these responses, it takes us to this uh, screen. So we have 324 responses and there is a button not accepting response. So I have stop accepting the responses so if you again want this form to be uh, sent to uh, the participants then you can click again click on this it shows as accepting responses so right now i don't want it to do so i am turning off it so when you want to view the details of the participants who have responded to your form then click on this sheet so this is excel sheet click on this and the very detail of the uh, participants who have attended your quiz can be seen here. So look at this. Uh, there are around 300 uh, plus members who have sent me the quiz. So uh, the answers they have opted, everything can be seen in this screen. So 
this is how these google forms can be used now we have collected the mails here so by sending the forms to the students also we can collect gmail accounts from the students and these gmails can be attached to conduct the uh, google classes or edmodo classes uh, which will be very useful you need not have to collect the gmails from the students again and again once you collect it uh, this will be helpful for conducting online classes also so this is all about how to see view the responses so friends uh, this is all about how to create our certificate and attach it to the uh, form and send it to the uh, participants and uh, three methods i told you uh, one is how to use the ready certificate from the google form and another how to uh, generate our own certificate uh, with quiz marks and how to allot it and another certificate was the customized certificate uh, for which uh, there will be no any allocation of marks only the feedback form will be filled and uh, we can send the certificate to each and every one these three parts are being covered here as much uh, knowledge i have i have been shared it to you today so hope you people enjoyed it and you have learned at least something from this uh, uh, session so i thank all the organizers and all the faculty and principal of gfdc dharwad for giving me this wonderful opportunity and if time permits let me uh, meet once again uh, with new topic until then be safe be at home and have a a nice time goodbye